Oh, okay. The real thing is that Mason yeah. is yeah. going to give us a little presentation here. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, yeah, my name is Mason, and uh, the reason I'm here today is because I work for an organization called Fuse Washington, and it is the state's largest progressive organization, and we're people creating change online, on the ground, and on issues that matter. We're an issue-based organization, and what we've done is, uh, in our solidarity with our friends through the Occupy movement, is taking what we felt are the four best parts of Occupy and used it uh, to create a progressive political platform. His parts are one, to increase taxes and close loopholes on the richest 1%. And two, create good clean jobs and provide living wages and don't pollute. To number three, protect social services from further cuts because we never know when we're going to need them. And then fourth, and most important to me, is overturning the Citizens United decision and getting corporate money out of the political process. So <clears throat> the way we're doing that is using that as a platform. We've been organizing community for the last six months around this issue to create progressive political change and progressive power here in Pierce County. In particular, we are extremely focused and direct on which races we are supporting and how we're doing our work. We found out that in the 28th district, which is just close to here, that's uh, like University Place, Fircrest, uh, DuPont over in there, there's a race that's going to be decided by 1,000 or less votes out of 45,000 votes cast. And so with me and a few other volunteers, we can swing 1,000 votes which thus can hold the balance of power in the state of Washington. Um, so it's extremely important that we're over there. We're using this progressive political platform to organize a community to put pressure on these candidates. I've already collected a thousand voter pledges saying that they're willing to support people that come out in favor of the progressive platform. And so with that, we can, after the election, put pressure on these candidates to do things like tax break reform and actually call on our senators to justify the tax breaks that are going to the richest corporations, make sure that they're actually giving to the community, providing jobs, um, and thus help balance our budget. Uh, we've got other things we're working on too. Uh, so not only on the state level, but we're using our progressive political pledge to put pressure on even local Tacoma City Council members. And so after the election, we're going to be going to them and asking them to sign a non-binding resolution calling on Congress to amend the Constitution. We can use this progressive political platform to address many issues, including even right here right now is the Proposition 1 issue that we have going on that to save the public transit system in Pierce County. If it does not pass, public transit down here gets cut by over 50%. That's huge. So there's a lot of issues that are going on right now. This is an extremely important election, and I do election work. This is what I do. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm looking for volunteers. I need all the help I can get. And, um, you know, it's about power to the people, about leveling the playing field. Right now, we're, we're playing on that, on that line. Citizens United allows us to be a PAC and spend a lot of money to get candidates elected. So we're doing it. But we have nowhere near the money that conservatives do. And really, this is about people power versus money power. And that's the dynamic that we're going to continue to see until the Citizens United decision gets, gets, gets solved. And so I need your people power. That's what I got.